Alright, so we're here in Photoshop, and here's a sample image we're going to be working with today. I took this photo for another photo challenge. The theme was spoons, I believe, and I threw a couple spoons in a hot cup of coffee and called it Spoon Koozie. So, lame, I know. So what we're going to do is we're going to mess with our shadows and highlights a little bit. So to do this effect, we're going to make a new layer. We're going to sample um, a color in the shadows that we like. So I like this dark bluish purple right here in the mug. I'm going to sample that, click OK, and then we're going to fill that layer. We're going to take our transparency mode and we're going to set it to lighten because we're trying to lighten our shadows. Hit lighten. There we are right there. So the awesome thing about this is you can edit this layer, this new layer that you've made as many times as you want and you can change this as many times as you want without affecting your actual image. So there's without the filter, there's with the filter. Now I'm going to hit control U which will bring up our hue and saturation and I'm going to take that and you can adjust the saturation of your shadows. Look at that way blue or you can dial it back to a gray if you want. Let's keep it right there in the middle. I'm going to change this, your hue, you can change it to whatever you want, green, yellow, change it to red, that's a little harsh, but I like this bluish purple, and then I'm going to darken it a little bit. Now by darkening, you're actually changing how much of your shadows that this layer is affecting. So if I don't want it to really mess with my shadows at all, turn it all the way off to black. Now if I turn it way up, that turns the image to white, you don't want that. So you find somewhere in the middle. I think that looks good. Click OK. And then here's the effect on and the effect off. I just want to affect a little bit of my shadows, add a little bit of color. So now we can do the exact same thing to highlights. Make a new layer. Let's go in here. Let's sample our highlights. Um, here's a little bit something a little less than white, kind of a cream color. Click OK. We're going to fill that layer with that off-white cream color. And now we're going to darken our highlights. So we're going to hit darken. And as we can see right here, turn it off, turn it on. Some of our highlights here, just a little bit dark, darker than they were before. I can hit hue and saturation. I can turn up the saturation, make them a little bit more yellow. And then I can choose how much of my highlights I want affected. So. That's all right. I'm just going to knock down this bright specular highlight on the spoon so it's not as distracting. So there we go. There's one image. Let's take a look at something else. All right. So here's an image that I photographed at a Kid Rock concert. I got really lucky and I was able to be right in the pit right underneath them during the concert. So let's make a new layer. I'm going to sample a different blue. Let's take a dark blue from up here. Yeah, that looks good. Let's fill this layer. Let's set it to lighten because I want to lighten my shadows. And there we go. I actually like that right there. Remember you can always go in and you can edit. I'm going to turn up the saturation a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Maybe a little bit more towards the purple side. Usually shadows look good when they're a dark blue or purple. Actually, that's too much. I'm going to tone it down just a little bit. Okay. And there we are. So. I'm just going to mess with the shadows of this image because I like the bright highlights up here. So there's without the effect and there's with the effect. So thank you for joining me today and if you like this video please share it and remember you can do this in After Effects too just as easily because After Effects has the exact same blending modes or transfer modes that Photoshop does. So you just add a new layer to your timeline, fill it with whatever color you want and set it to either lighten to change your shadows or set it to darken to change your highlights. So thanks for joining me and subscribe if you like this and I'm going to be doing plenty more of these videos but until then you got to have images to work with so get out and go shoot.